Welcome back guys, my name is Matthias and yes, welcome to how to upgrade your base in Mistrated and today we're going to upgrade the base and this is the second part of the base series, base building series and yeah, if we are right then our fireplace should be gone, yep, it disappears with the server reset and let's see if we type in exclamation mark base then it tells us how much time is left in the base okay and basically i just opened up the door and closed it did nothing else guys i did absolutely nothing else i joined the server right now i haven't skipped a beat from the last episode and yeah the timer is reset so basically you don't have to um, place you know, place stuff in um, in your furnaces or anything like that. You just have to interact with your base by opening up a door. In the past, I used to pack up a part and then place it down again, you know, to reset the timer. But yeah, as we can clearly see, interacting with your base resets the timer. So yeah, just open up a door. One thing that I didn't cover in the last episode, I'm just going to pack up this door. Some of you might want to know this. So basically when you place a part, you're, you're on the um, snapping system when you see all these dots. And then when you press the control button, you're in the free form mode. Okay, you can't snap it. This is the olden days where you had to, you know, really um, get your line and your placement perfect. That's why when I place parts inside my base, freeform is just fine. But of course, for base parts, you know, I need to use that method. So yeah, I just control snapping between freeform and snap form. And then if you press shift, you can lower the position of the part. You can see that it sinks down into the ground. Okay. So sometimes when you've got a part like maybe there on top of the roof, you press shift and it comes down. Okay, so anytime you want to place a part, now with the snapping system, because you've got dots here, it doesn't work like that. But, um, yeah, if you ever need to lower a part, you know, just use the shift key. Uh, because that's what the shift key is for. Just to lower it into the ground where you can. And then when you place a part, you can see that blue dot there. That's the way the door is going to open. Okay, so if you press alt then you can rotate it okay so now place it there and now we can rotate it okay so you want to rotate it on the middle so i'm looking at the middle dot so now rotate it you know on the middle dot so that the door can open that way or the door can open that way if i'm looking at i think if i'm looking at the other dot you know it will rotate another way but in any case that's how i rotate the door to decide which way i want the door to open okay but yeah you know, that's the commands um, control to shift between the building modes shift to lower a part and then you know um alt to rotate a part so our mission today is of course to gather the resources for upgrading our base and again we want to waste as little time as possible um a good tip for you guys is if you want to upgrade your foundations you know it's your decision but a foundation takes six c4s to destroy and it takes 32 sheet metal to upgrade a foundation but when you upgrade it, it goes from 6 C4s to 8 C4s. Only 2 more C4s to destroy it. So in my opinion, it is not a good idea to upgrade your foundations at all. And another major tip, which will happen to you guys, is if you've got sheet metal in your inventory, be very careful when you click on something, okay? Because you might want, you, you've maybe got sheet metal that you gathered, and you want to upgrade your walls but you just quickly want to pick up something from the ground and you click on the ground to pick it up but it's not perfect so then it, you know 
then it upgrades your foundation by mistake and then you've just wasted 32 sheet metal so yeah just a few tips there for you guys and of course this um, crafted pickaxe is not gonna last very long so we need to go to equipment and we're gonna need to go to tools a stick I've got a hatchet that's no problem I've got a rock and a rope I haven't got a rope so I need more rags okay but let's just count quickly okay so the the doors are gonna be a bit extra I'm not sure maybe maybe eight maybe eight sheet metal between the two of them but let's just count quickly so it's 16 32 48 64 okay and then at the top gives us 80 so this whole unit here is going to be 80 c4s with the two doors is probably going to be about 96 uh, not c4s what am i talking about um, 96 sheet metal okay and then of course we want to upgrade in here as well so that's going to give us um, 112, 128, 144, 160. Okay, so just to be safe, we're going to aim for three stacks. A stack is um, 64 iron ore. We're going to aim for three stacks. Okay, so let's see how far we can get with three stacks. So let's just quickly get that stick that we need. Okay, so we can go to base building and quickly turn those wood logs into sticks. That problem is solved. And now let's try and get um, to three stacks. And if I need another pickaxe, I'm just going to run through the bushes, get a bit of thatch and create another pickaxe. So I'll be back right now. Guys, as long as you've got a weapon, um, you don't need to craft a bow. As long as you've got a weapon, just focus on the headshots. One on the head, step back. Wait for it to come again. And there you go. Okay, now he was a bit slow there. He should have hit me at least once. But that's the only damage you should take. One shot, it's 10% health. Okay, you can heal that damage back up really quickly. So don't worry about mutants. Um in the beginning uh, brutes are dangerous but you can run away from them and then you just have to be careful of spider mutants so that you don't get hit too much but yeah we'll cover that later okay we're basically done with the three stacks there's the three stacks we've got a slot open so we're just going to chop some wood for a uh, storage crate okay yeah here we go guys just three stacks didn't take too long at all and this is dangerous because someone can kill me now but yeah let's get the workbench inside lock up there place the workbench we use like I say, I like to use the free fall mode. See where it goes into the wall. See what's the boundaries I can use. There we go. And then right here, I want to craft um, crates. And you're, you'll only be able to create small crates in the beginning. Until you learn the guide. But we're going to keep it basic and every time I start, there's an airdrop. It's freaking amazing. Uh, two wood logs and five lumber. Very, very easy. There we go. Oh, 
There you go, nice and neat. Now we can put the stuff in here that we're not going to use right now. And we'll use the weapon. Have our tools in there. Put everything in here that you're not going to use right now. Okay, that we're going to need to split into two. Of course, what we're going to do is we're going to put one in here. And always split up the stacks, guys. The better you can split them, you know, the more time is going to save you. So really try and split your stacks as much as possible. Just gonna go for go with eight for now. Put the other half in here. Now that's unnecessary. play with the numbers I usually just do seven so that I don't have to worry about anything falling out but since I want to do this as fast as possible I'm going to use all the stacks I'm just not going to let the charcoal fall out I think eight stacks of each is more than enough means like every every drop I can basically upgrade a wall and then of course I've got the matches which I can use if you don't have the matches guys then um, you can just have two sticks and a thatch to make a fire drill okay don't worry about that so we've got our two even stacks nice and neat lighting those two up Making sure we've got nothing on us that's not necessary. We can put the matches in there. Put the matches in out of your inventory. Because a lot of time you just want to see what's in the furnaces. And then by mistake, you know, the, the, the default is to light the furnace. So you just want to interact with it. But then you light the furnaces by mistake. And you waste your lighters or your matches. Okay. So now the small tip there for you. So this stuff is going to fall out down. I'm just going to show you the first batch that falls out. There you go. There's the first batch, like I said, 16. So now we go here. Now, yeah, looks like I've got a memory problem at the moment because it takes two iron ingots for sheet metal. So. What I'm going to go have to do is get three more stacks. Because my calculations weren't right at all. But that's not a problem. We can go remedy that problem really quickly. I'll be back now. Okay guys, while I'm getting more iron ore, um, I've got this um, spot where I spawned, so yeah, let's just see what I've got on me at the moment. Got a chocolate bar, got meat and a fat that I got from a dog, which is very important um, for creating C4s later on. Yeah, 
So I'm just gonna do a quick run of this place and see what I get. Yes guys, I'm in a rad storm at the moment, but if you guys remembered my tip from yesterday, it's not a problem. So this is a great tip for inventory space. We've got a, quite a few, cool, few cool stuff here. Rope, rope is priceless, absolutely priceless. Getting more lumber. Through that jerry can down there. All you need to do if you don't want to die, just get into some cover. When you get into some cover, you'll pick up less radiation and the storm doesn't carry on for long enough to kill you. Now, of course, we don't mind dying, but we don't want to die here, okay? We want to die at our base make it easy so yeah I'll be back when the storm is over okay so we did find a quad here in one run I got all the parts for it that I need okay except for two wheels one very important thing with the quad is it despawns every six hours okay so you can't keep it at your base but one thing you can do with it is just hide it in the meantime I like the fact that it goes into water because the apples explode in water. Sure, this might be a stupid spot, but yeah, holy. Yeah, just leave it there so that it's not in the open. If somebody spots it, that's fine. Nothing you can do about it. Never forget seaweed. Hmm. Yo, the AI is really not dangerous. The PVE is, is, is not really a factor on official servers, guys. So if you struggle with it, don't worry. You'll get used to it very fast. Just remember the two headshots. Remember... A, wait for a dog to stand still um, if you spawn a horde by making a lot of noise just get you know get out of there as fast as possible run away from a brute and be careful with the spider it's as simple as that Okay guys, before you drown yourself, burning yourself damages your equipment. Letting a mutant kill you damages your equipment. 
Falling yourself to death can take some time and cause frustration, okay? Um, so if you want to drown yourself, just get a nice marker. You know? And just stand in the water until you're dead. Okay, we're about to respawn at our base. As you can see, things used to disappear quite quickly in the past, but at the moment all you have to fear is a server reset, okay? Parts have stayed for me inside of a base um, quite nicely, you know, so I've never had a problem with it. Again, not closing that second door. It's not a good idea but seriously guys I'd rather just you know let a mutant kill me or take a quick death because a repair kit is very easy to get that's quite a nice screenshot looks quite cool okay so we can interact with your body underwater but I mean the body could have sl slid down you know and could have been a bit more difficult to get it what are we gonna throw away now I'm gonna throw away the sticks because these are these are always free rags free rags are a great bonus and free repair kits That's great, it isn't perfect, so rather kill yourself outside, yeah, be a bit safer. And yes, instead of making a fireplace, get a grill from you know, many places you can pack up a grill like this. And then you've got your own little barbecue going here. Okay, so we can just add the lumber. We can light it with a lighter and we can add the, the wolf meat. Great thing about this is if you use a furnace you have to split the stacks like I did or if you use a fireplace you have to split the stacks as well to cook everything at once. With the fire, you know, with the, with the crafted fireplace and with this grill you can cook you know, a full stack at the same time which is really nice. So let's put the stuff um, in here that we don't need Valentine's items but it's a lot of food I mean the champagne is like in 85% fluid yeah so we don't need to worry about stuff like that for a long place got a little lamp that we can put on here just light up the place a bit more um, yeah, put the blue side and stuff uh, the rocks stacking stuff can always save a lot of space so yes let's get going I'm crafting sheet metal Nice man, nice. One. What the hell was that? Two. Three. Four. Five. Mm -hmm. Hmm. These stacks are done. So what we're gonna do now? 
I split this lumber. Put one here. Put one here. Split these up quickly. We know eight is the magic number. Yeah, I only did two stacks because we overcompensated with the last, you know, with the last three stacks. So I'm sure this is going to be enough to complete everything. Okay. Let's see how much these doors take. Eight. Hmm, I was right. Lucky guess. Okay, let's close the door first. Hmm. Oh, yeah, keep an eye on the meat. Get food. There we go, so we've got the meat now as well. And I'm just gonna keep the gun here, I don't have the ammo for it. Just make sure it's all right. Seems all right. I'm gonna keep this. If I get a water purification tablet, I can add it to that. So yeah, we're gonna need more storage space soon. In any case, nice and neat little base, guys. Nice and neat little base and later in the episodes I'm going to show you everything that you need to have in your base to make sure that water and food and heat and you know, nothing is ever a problem. So we're going to use all the base facilities and I'm going to show you the best ways you know, to use them. Like all the stuff that you can build at a base. So if you go to base building and you go to utilities, you know, you've got a propane heater, you've got the water collector, you've got the water purifier, you know, and you've got the placeable generator for your lights. So I'm going to show you how to use all of those things. And yeah, I want to build one of the sheet metal lumber. I like to build a unit like this so that I can have my crates nice and neat. But yeah, now it's just a nice quiet waiting game. So let's see if we're going to make it. That's upgraded. That's upgraded. So this is 16. But because you know it's 16 sheet metal, it's actually... 32 so it's 32 iron ore 32 it's 64 64 96 plus this one yep it's gonna be perfect gonna be perfect guys so you basically need five stacks of iron ore okay to upgrade this whole this whole base five stacks easy peasy you can do one stack a day you know, take your time, no problem. And yes, I think this is it. Like I said, in the next episode, we're not going to upgrade our base parts, okay? We already know how to do that. Um, so I'm just covering everything, okay? Um, in the next episode, I'm going to spawn at a random location again. I'm going to save you guys the time it takes me to build the base. I'm just going to show you where I spawn. You know, where I'm going to pick the base and this time I'm going to pick a base location where we can start our um, our standard design okay our block based design and then we're going to add a few ideas to the block based design and um, to secure it even more okay and I'm going to give you guys a few ideas for garages and stuff like that to protect your vehicles if you can find any vehicles 
and yes you know then i do get questions that uh, people are raiding certain you know probably raiding you constantly and it's starting to bother you we're gonna discuss strategies to fix that as well or to make it you know as painless as possible or to counteract that so yes if you like this video um you know please give me a like um if you're not subscribed yet and you like this game do yourself do yourself a favor and subscribe because i'm going to be um uploading videos every single day where there's sort of misgraded or something else you can enjoy and have fun with so yes um hope you guys are staying safe you know and isolated and i'll see you guys in the next episode Okay guys, just to finish this video off, some of the clever people out there would have said um, Lutheus, why do you have a safe room when your loot is in the first section of your safe room? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. And guys, I tend to agree with you. That doesn't make sense at all. I completely agree with you. So, your work area always has to be in the same place. Okay? So the same as last time, make sure there's a gap on the right, give yourself some space. I usually use that line there to make it a safe space. Okay, give it some space there. There, this is our work area. Okay, and all I want, all I have to do now is go lumber. I've got everything, so structures and storage. <laughs> Don't have enough lumber. So I want to make the rack here. Okay. So this is just a quick solution to moving my loot. And of course you can build four small crates and two large crates. So all I'm doing now is literally just moving everything over. Very easy way just to move everything over. Make sure you don't back up the door. Make sure of the description. snapping on so that they snap on perfectly and there we go guys this is now officially our loot room yeah in, in case any of you were bothered by that and let's just see is anything gonna glitch out that wood pile looks fine and that wood pile looks fine as well okay nice and neat no problems a for away. That's it. Nice and perfect. Metal roof. Plated walls. Guy's going to need 4C4s to get in here. And if he does spend 4C4s, he's going to waste the 4C4s. So from here, we can expand the base. But yes guys that's as easy as it is see you next time